Good evening, everyone. Today, I would like to present on the topic surgical options for presbyopia. Presbyopia is a condition of physiological sufficiency of accommodation leading to progress for innovation. Coming to the surgical options related to presbyopia, the corneal, lens, and scleral options are as follows, which will be discussed in the further slides. Coming to the intra uh, corneal options, intracorneal inlays are inserted into the stromal pocket which are made up of biocompatible material with apertures for neutral flow. The advantage of uh, intracorneal inlays is that they can be used as an adjunctive to LASIK and are implanted in the non-dominant The stromal pocket can be uh, enabled using a femtosecond laser. The advantage of using femtosecond laser is it can cause preservation of peripheral corneal nerves and biomechanics, and there will be no flap complications. And, uh, and the inlays can also be inserted using a lamellar corneal flap, which causes uh, the advantages of uh, full control of uh, refractive target and easy access for repositioning and removal of the inlay. Coming to the types of inlay, camera inlays are made up of PVDF and uh, the central aperture of 1.6 mm uh, causes an increase in the depth of the focus. The next is the raindrop inlay, which is made up of hydrogel which increases the uh, radius of curvature of the anterior cornea to achieve the presbyopic correction. Next is the FlexiView inlay, which is made up of hydrophilic polymer. It consists of 1.6 mm optically neutral zone and a periphery zone, which has a refractive power. These are the images of camera inlay, raindrop inlay, and FlexiView inlay. And the most important, next is the important principle in correction of presbyopia is monovision in which the dominant eye is corrected for distance and the non-dominant eye is corrected for near vision. And a power difference of not more than 1.5 diopters between the two eyes is targeted and mild myopia for the near vision eye is corrected. The concept of monovision has disadvantages such as reduced stereopsis, contrast sensitivity, and binocular vision may be affected. Coming to the corneal refractive surgery options, it can be non-ablative or ablative options. In the non-ablative options, monovision, conductive keratoplasty, and laser thermokeratoplasty are there. Coming to the uh, conductive keratoplasty, radio frequency energy is used to place spots on the periphery of the cornea. It causes shrinkage of the collagen, causing steepening of the central cornea in the non-dominant eye. Corneal erosions, perforations, and decrease in the best corrected visual acuity can occur as complications in conductive keratoplasty. Coming to the ablative procedures, Intracore is, a femto, uh, intracore is a procedure in which femtosecond laser is used to make five concentric rings and a localized biochemical change occurs in the cornea uh, so that it corrects the presbyopia in the non-dominant eye. Next classic procedure is presbyon. It is also a monovision principle in which the dominant eye is corrected for distance and intermediate vision and the non-dominant eye is corrected for both intermediate and near vision so that the positive spherical abrasion is created in the center and the image disparity between the two eyes is minimal. Next LASIK procedure is presbyon multifocal LASIK, wherein the corneal ablations are uh, done at various optical zooms so that a multifocal cornea is created. Next lenticular lens options would be multifocal intraocular lens. It is of two types, refractive and diffractive lens. Refractive lens are mainly dependent upon the pupil wherein annular zones with different refractive powers are present on the anterior surface of the lens. Whereas in diffractive lens, it is less pupil dependent and uh, bifocal, trifocal and EDOF lenses are mainly used in diffractive lens for correction of presbyopia. These are the images of refractive lens and diffractive lens, wherein diffractive lens has uh, different type of focuses near, for near vision, intermediate vision and distance vision. The, but the uh, contraindications for multifocal IOLs are professional night drivers, those who have ocular pathology such as zonular weakness, glaucoma, macular diseases, who have pre-operative astigmatism and unrealistic expectations from the patients. Next IOL options would be accommodative IOLs, which work on the focus shift principle. There will be a dynamic increase in the uh, dioptric power with accommodative effort. There are two types of accommodative IOLs, position changing, and shape changing IOLs. Crystal lens is a position changing monofocal IOL which causes a change in the axial position relation, relation to the cornea. One mm movement is equal to two diopter of power change. Coming to the shape changing IOLs, 
the capsular bag squeezes a tiny amount of fluid from the haptic which inflates the lens giving the near vision next lens options would be presbyopic implantable fake contact lens it is a posterior chamber fake iol with uh, it has a wide range of correction both sphere and cylinder and press presbyopic add upon can be up to plus 4 diopters next is the scleral options which is mainly based upon shachar's theory of accommodation which causes expansion of sclera over the ciliary body to increase the distance from the lens and the disadvantages of scleral options would be scleral weakening and anterior ciliary ischemia this is the image of scleral expansion band thank you thank you dr sushmita thank you yes uh, dr sushmita can you hear me am i audible yes sir yeah yeah yes sir yeah. so uh, you just you explained a couple of things one you said mini mono vision okay you said mono vision i want to know yes. what is what is mini mono vision uh, mini mono vision is like we uh, the dioptric uh, difference between the two eyes is very less and in one eye uh, very minimal myopia is uh, done sir. how much myopia how much is minimal less than uh, one diopter 1.5 diopters 1.5 is mono vision so mini mono vision is 0.75 0.5 to 0.75 diopters yes. so i just wanted to know practically because this is a very practical situation what is what is the popular treatment in today's like because there are so many and i what almost most of that you said are not practically in use in the clinic name name two or three which are popular treatments in current situation in the current situation if the patient had already lenticular changes refractive lens exchange would be one of the options sir if the patient doesn't have any uh, lenticular changes then the patient can go for ipcl it is a new method now uh, but it can be done ipcl can be done if no lenticular changes are there and i think these two are being done in terms of laser and vision correction of, in terms of laser sir, vision correction which is the most which is the only few one or two treatments that are in the market right now which are still being used for presbyopia correction presby max and presbyond sir all right okay and uh, so i think yeah from my end this is this is a lot of the a lot of the uh, uh, slides that you presented are actually for historical interest like conductive thermal keratoplasty because you know they yes. were they've been abandoned many many years ago principally because they don't work and they regress but otherwise it was a very comprehensive presentation yeah it it, it was good like i i was there for the first one uh, contact with ketoplasty that was done and the patient turned out to be very uh, uh, very unhappy uh, after that and uh, uh, see uh, a, a simple practical uh, uh, question like uh, you said uh, uh, about uh, finding the a dominant eye and a non dominant eye how how do you how do you how how can i uh, find out which is a dominant eye and uh, which is a non dominant eye other different ways to uh, go for it and what would you uh, be your preference for it you can ask the patient uh, to act as if he is shooting something uh, so that if he uh, we can make out if the eye is open uh, regarding the eye which is open that is the dominant eye and the eye which has been closed is the non dominant eye no that's what you do and okay okay uh, no issues i'm 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 actually driving uh, 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 continue continue 